And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Draven for Rank Up Sunday. Uh, just got our Prime Glory in the best of three gauntlet and this was one of the three decks that we used. We're going to play a couple of different cards here though to just kind of try out some new stuff and we're going to see how it goes. Instead of the two Guiding Touches, we're going to try Elixir of Wrath. Um, they're both cards that you can copy over with Tarek. That's something that I want to make sure that we have um, enough cards that um, you can target Tarek as the only target and then copy it over. This one, of course, is going to be a lot more aggressive with the Guiding Touch basically being a draw two. Um, that's like the important part of that card. So we'll see how, how this one does. Um, this will also allow us to trade up sometimes. and It'll be also good with some Overwhelm units. Besides that, we're going to trim the two Legion Saboteurs that were the one drops. Um, did we did you know maybe eight one drops is a little bit too much do frequently like the games that we lose we'll like draw a bunch of one drops in the late game and so we're going to try cutting the two uh, legion saboteurs and instead of those um, we're going to get a whirling death in here and try this card out because this is just a pretty fantastic card especially with overwhelm units and of course it works great with draven and everything uh, so we'll try one of these and then we'll, we will also try getting a fourth three drop, um, overwhelm three drop into play. Now, before I was playing the three Crescent Guardians, and we saw that the, the Crescent Guardians were, um, it was pretty awkward trying to find the Nightfall. Uh, There's a lot of times like where I was just keeping this in hand and trying to figure out how to get this with Nightfall, but then we'd also have like Pale Cask, you know, like we'd want to play, like we just have like spells and then Crescent Guardian. And we'd be like, well, we can't really play this Crescent Guardian. It was pretty awkward. So we're just going to cut that down to one. Um, instead of having three of those, and we're going to go with three Iron Ballistas instead, where we can uh, curve out easier with this card. And so uh, we're playing, so instead of three total copies of Crescent Guardian, we have the four copies of the three drops now by trimming the one drop. So we'll see how that all uh, works, um, but we're going to try this for our new list. So let's uh, take it on over to Ranked, and we'll play our five games. And then we'll be playing some Ranked with Give It All Poros, the other deck that we played a lot of in the uh, best of three gauntlet a little bit ago. So it looks like we're playing against Gohard. We we didn't have to play against any Gohard during the gauntlet because we, we just banned the Gohard deck each time. All right, so yeah, we're gonna mulligan the Precious Bet here with, with us having a, a one, two, three curve. Honestly, actually, hmm. Okay, so I kept Soldier because Soldier is better against the, the card Go Hard, but Precious Pet does a better job getting through all the blockers. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. So it depends on like what they're going to have. Are they going to have Go Hard or are they going to have blockers? Didn't know the boss is for me. Don't know much, do you? Uh, let's get to it. No mercy for heretics. I'll right, we'll just do some trading. Time for the main event. You may kill you, I know fortune, stupid. That's pretty nice. Coming right up. I wasn't planning on challenging. Um, I'd rather do like the three damage to them. Boo. All right, hopefully we draw a unit so that we can play. We, yeah, we do have a lot of spells. Be nothing left when I'm done. Oh, uh, why did I not use the gem to heal? I should have done that. Shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should have done that. I'm glad they didn't just play another go hard immediately. Use the might. I could use spinning axe also 
to partway level up this Draven. So I can put him down to three if I want to just like tap out and just you know like play everything and put him down to three. Time for the money I guess we'll get we'll get it to one. All right, so Draven's at one out of two now. Got that to one. I rarely forget and never forget. So I will respect you, Captain. So Lari Soldier keep up, keep up. gives me something good to transfusion. Ours is the one true light. I'll show him pain. Hang him by their entrails. Iron Ballista. So I'm not keeping Draven protected right now. Hopefully they don't have two go-hards. We play in build rules. To kill Draven. But I just wanted to go to open attacks, right? I didn't want to wait till next turn and play Ballista. Ooh. They drain one. They put them to nine. Hopefully another might. Nah, precious pet. <laughs> See, we even took out two one mana cards. And we see here, Solari Soldier, Precious Pet. So we've, draw we've drawn four of the six. Now, um, I mean, just going to open attacks doesn't kill them. So I guess I play the Precious Pet. No. Axes coming right up. No. Where are you going? Now we're cooking. I'm going to use it to level up Draven. I hope this works. I hope no Vengeance. I hope no Pil or uh, no Glimpse Beyond. they burned a Twisted Fate. And we drew a Captain Farron. Let's go, Captain. Whoa. Unspeakable Horror created that thing. That's not bad. Um, all right, GG's. One no. It didn't feel like our hand was that good, but then Captain Farron comes down and closes the game. Out. Okay, this one won't be Go Hard, but it's going to be Ezreal instead. It looks like same kind of deck. Twisted Fate, Ezreal, Gangplank. Probably a pretty decent deck. Now... I'll try the Precious Pet, but I'm not super, uh, I'm not relying on this Precious Pet. I'm not like, I'm not thinking it's going to stay alive for a long time. This just screams a deck that can do one damage to things, which is a lot of the metagame right now, which is why we're kind of trimming on one drops. Perfect. Great card. 
victim good. Our best card. Um, I'm not sure if this deck does better against Field of Rush or Gohard. I'd have to just have more. I haven't played. I haven't played it against Gohard very much. I would just have to have more experience. I don't know. I think that we're. I think the deck's okay in both matchups. You know, maybe like 55-45 or so, or 60-40. Like I, I feel, I feel confident in, in winning the matchups. I, I guess. I guess I'd probably be more confident in beating Field of Rush than beating Go Hard. Maybe that's part of um, not really playing them, them, the matchups before, or like I haven't played too much Go Hard. Let's do this. You got legs. Use them. So we both have five cards in hand, plus I have the two spinning axes, like five real cards, plus I have two one and three one Draven in play, you know, Draven and uh, Precious Pet, so, and they have four less lives, so we're definitely ahead. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. The main question is if I want to play Tarek and allow them to kill Draven or play Solari Soldier and keep spells up to protect Draven. I guess if they have Mystic Shot, I can't really protect Draven anyway through a Mystic Shot. We'll just play the Taric. Well, yeah, like they, they're probably, you know, Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam, you know, this is not a go-hard deck. This is PNZ. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. That it makes makes sense. Dang. Wow, it's a great mega rain. Megarine cost three mana, remember? Like, they had the two mana. My beautiful face. Shatter them. Unyielding. Stop. Five. We're still hitting, hitting them for a bunch. Feel pretty good about this one with going, you know, double ballista this turn, and then next turn having spinning axe, might pill cascade. I feel pretty good about that. They don't know what mm. they're up against. I thought you'd never ask. So Mystic Shot does three damage. Can't quite protect Tarek from Mystic Shot. I can, because I can put, I can put Tarek to three health. Maybe they are worried about one of these overwhelm things and kill an overwhelm thing. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, so like axe. We can we can axe and pill cascade to level up Tarek. You know, we have to do two things. So axe and pill cascade would level up Tarek, but that still put Tarek to three, right? Because it'd be one here, two with two for the pill cascade, three for the other. Okay, so let's just go to attacks. Devotion to battle. And great transfusion draw. I imagine they're going to be dead. You're between me and glory. No, the axe doesn't count as two. No. 
It, count, it only counts as one. down to negative two. Then still, if they have another spell to kill one of them, then I can might the other. And there we go, GG's. Two and O. Oh. Playing against some deep. All right, let's curve out. We have the attack token turn four. Hand looks perfect. I don't have anything on turn two, but all of our spells cost two, right? Transfusion, Pale Cascade. So I want to draw Transfusion or Pale Cascade and be able to have that available for, for Taric. That's what I want, Pale Cascade. Yeah, there we go. Pale Cascade, Transfusion. There's the Transfusion. Might is perfect for turn six. So we'll see. I, I've, we'll see what they have. I feel pretty good about killing them on turn six. But you know, we'll have to see. That's a lot of toss. Beauty and life. Good Pell Cascade. I'm gonna put this on the Precious Pet just because of like Withering Whale. That means I have to use Transfusion this turn to save Taric. So if we're playing that, then we'd have three extra mana, so I could play another Ballista. But then let's see, next turn, then I could have Kato and Elixir. But let's see, oh, I want Might next turn, though. So that means... Since I'm just playing Solari Soldier. I'm just, I'm just not going to be playing Kato. Whoa. Don't kill Taric. That's kind of weird. So levels up Taric so like neither one can take damage or die. Boo. <clears throat> Alright, so they're still alive, down to three. But of course they had to block with the Maokai. So that's pretty good. The third jettison. So they're still deep. In hot. Danger paid. It's gonna be close. Ours is the one true light. So I can only play Kato or Draven. And 
up both. Good pass for them. There we go, GG's. Indestructible Captain Farron. Let's go. I'm gonna play against another, another Ezreal deck. Let's see, let's mulligan. And, I mean, these are good cards against Ezreal. Keep things alive. But we also need units. Let's keep the Pale Cascade. It draws cards and everything. Ooh. This is kind of tough. Oh, that's nice. I think they're a fan. Because, you know, like, I want to, like, just play the the one mana 2-2. Two, two, and then, you know, on turn one, like two mana 3-2 on turn two to attack. Well, then that doesn't allow us to fill Cascade. The world's a big place. Ugh. Let's see all of it. <laughs> one shot, all skill. Only this free Mystic shots. Charge. I don't like free Mystic shots. Beauty and life. What do you think, Pup? What do you think about free Mystic shots? You name it, I'll nick it. Unyielding. I guess we got a free spell cascade, so that's kind of cool. Just borrow it. I don't miss. Go with so could go mountain goat grenadier then pill cascade. Let's just play a ballista though, because I, I figure they're gonna try to kill the Taric. Yeah. Well, looks like they're going to. But I guess that forces them to use their mystic shot over there. And not somewhere else. <laughs> for beauty. So much removal. Much removal. This Ezreal has to be leveled up soon. This whirling death would have been a lot better as a cooling strike. Right? Like this. Would have been much better as a cooling strike. So that's you know note note that you know like we're playing one whirling death, one cooling strike. Um, yeah, two cooling strikes would have been better. Just something to note. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if they can outrace. I mean, leveled up Ezreal can outrace Captain Farron, especially with Captain Farron two turns away. This Ezreal is about to level up now. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Captain Farron's gonna be backbreaking for them because I think they're gonna kill me first. So I was seeing if maybe we could have Whirling Death do something. Instead of playing the mountain goat. One shot, all skill. 
nailed it. Yeah, like they I should be at ten. I I mean I'm glad they're just continuing like like that other mystic shot should have gone upstairs. Like this one could have gone upstairs, I'd be at seven. I'm glad they continue to keep killing my things. If they keep killing my things, we're okay. It's whenever they start killing my Nexus. Then I'm in trouble. Yeah, like I, I should just be dead right now. I should just be dead if they just have those mystic shots go upstairs. Hmm. They got me though, GG's. I think we would have won that game if Whirling Death was Culling Strike. That would have been. Old. That is definitely the reason to play two Culling Strike. I just, I just feel like I'm gonna beat Ezreal most of the time. So I'm not really, I'm not usually that worried about Ezreal decks. I'm more worried about the like this deck. So just haven't played against it very much. I. I guess that Culling, Culling Strike, I guess, is maybe better in this matchup than Whirling Death, though, also. I mean, it, it can be. The, the Whirling Death can help, like, it's a great trick to help, like, a big Overwhelm get a whole bunch of damage in. Doesn't look like they have a go hard. They're not playing like they have a go hard. I don't change fate, but I can see it. That should be for a go hard. Beauty and life. Maybe I guess I just shouldn't have spent that two mana. I should have saved the two two spell mana for you know for being able to play Tarek and Kato. Yep, I definitely should have saved the spell mana. I wish I didn't play that second go. It's kind of a you know we'll have to see what they do of like how I want to support. Submit. Well, obviously now we just do that. You can't do this. Tarek still gets no respect. Try again. Tarek always getting no respect. Deal me in. Something for all of you. Four. So the problem with like, so I was, I was definitely thinking about, so like the problem with this turn of just letting that happen and then playing Gem and then playing Kato is that I wouldn't have a third unit to support with the Kato. Yeah, I can try. I'm gonna, I can try to hire. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to debate. If I want to try to get another thing that would level up Tarek, or I could just play Kato and then like playing Kato is very bad against Ruination.
Ah, uh, did not high roll. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I didn't get to attack? Tarek, you're killing me. All unbelievers will see the light. Because the timer goes down during the animation and... Uh, Tarek, Tarek does have a problem with that. I hate how the timer goes. Like, why does the timer go down during animations? I hate that. That is not the first time that that's cost me. Stop. Stop. Packed him good. Captain Farron's still MVP, though. For silver, I talk. For gold, I taste it. So wait for Twisted Fate? Yeah, what's what's Twisted Fate? You gonna do red card? So we have 10 mana, enough to play two decimates. So it should be good. Alright, GG's. Alright, so still went 4 and 1 even with that attack mishap. Uh, thankfully the game the game was like, my bad, sorry that you didn't get to attack. Here's a Captain Farron. And we're like, thank you, we'll take the Captain Farron. All right, so uh, whirling death didn't look good. Um, I think I think that maybe we would just go to, to go to two calling strike because yeah, I guess I guess even in, like in that matchup against like twisted fate, you want calling strike. Um, it's like the the bigger decks, like your trundle decks, like those kind of decks you really want like that whirling death or against your Demacia decks. Um, yeah, like against your Demacia and Freljord decks, that kind of stuff. You want you want whirling death, um, but we'll we'll try calling strike. And uh, yeah, Elixir of Wrath looked good though. We you know we drew we drew that the one time and that card looked good. So, so there we go. We'll change that up because I think that that will, could have maybe um, helped win us that game that we lost. All right, so there's Tarek Draven. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.